What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today uh, we're going to be tearing down the Duramax, um, getting everything ready to get the frame cleaned up and painted. Uh, we got a lot of work to do on this thing. Um, so stay tuned for this video and all the videos to come on working on this truck. So first things first, uh, we're going to get this bed off of here. Um, pretty easy. Uh, just I believe it's six bolts. Um, and then unhook your wiring all back here and then should just come right off. So, uh, we're going to start with that. So the wiring I was talking about right back here, um, you're going to have plugs for each side of your taillights. One goes that way, the other way. Um, so unhook those, you know, if you got rock lights, um, unhook those from the bed. Uh, cause you don't want to pull any wires here. And then, um, yeah, here's a bolt right here. And then you know, there's one right here too. Same thing on the other side. And then you got more back there. All right. So we got all the wiring unhooked here. Um, you can take off your bumper, uh, before you take off the bed, but you can also just pull the bed off without taking the bumper off there. Um, I got to leave that on there, uh, because I got to mock up the new hitch. Um, so we got a hitch off of 2008, uh, Silverado and, um, should be the same. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about here is the bolts that go into the bumper. I don't know if those are going to line up, um, but they have the same frame as the GMT 800s. The GMT 900s have the same frame, so that hitch will work. So I'm going to get all the bolts pulled out here. Um, they're 18 millimeter if they're factory bolts. If not, I think they're usually like 15 millimeter. Um, and this bed's been off before, so they all should come out pretty easy. But if not, sometimes um, they start spinning. The nut on the inside of the bed rail will start spinning. Or... Um, the bolts will break off so all right uh so there's eight bolts on here um you got two up front right here um they're all pretty easy to get to uh you just need like a long extension like this um and then it impacts swivel and you can get to them all um now one of them started spinning and i also had one break um so they didn't come out like i was expecting them to uh, we did take the bed off like um, almost a year ago so um yeah so we got to figure out how to get that bolt out um i might be able to get a wrench on the top of there and uh stop it from spinning but i don't know for sure well um i figured the easiest way just cut a hole um you can see there's the nut right there um the little welds break on there and then um it just spins so yeah i figured the easiest way just cut a hole um tack weld it back on uh this bed you know it ain't nice so i'm gonna be replacing it i don't care um vented there's rust plenty of rust um so yeah we're just gonna cut that have that cut open and then I'll weld it back shut. Um, and then throw some bed liner over it and you want to be able to tell. All right, so we got that bolt out of there. Came out like it was nothing. Um, stupid, we had to cut a hole, but um, sometimes you just got to do that. Uh, so now uh, we're going to get the lift, some ratchet straps. I'm going to hook on to uh, all the hooks. Um, tie down hooks on the bed and then we're going to lift it off and then set it off to the side and then we're going to start taking the hood off and um, the fenders as well and the whole front end. All right uh, so we got the lift here, um, some straps and we got these clamps on each side just to be sure these straps don't slip off at all. Um, just hooked to the tie down points all around. Uh, we're just going to lift it up off of there. And simple as that. Um, if you actually have people with you, 
like six people can do it. So um, maybe even four. Four, I guess four you could also do. But um, yeah, I got nobody, so we're going to do it with a lift. All right, well, we got it up off the frame and um, let it film it. Totally forgot, but it went smooth. They didn't hit anything. Um, yeah, no issues. So we're going to get it pulled off here and um, put it on my bed stand. So I got the hitch off. I uh, lined it up with the new hitch, um, the 08 to 10 hitch. Um, everything lines up. You know, it's all the same, besides the tube is bigger and the receiver part is bigger. Other than that, it's literally the same hitch. So now we could be able to haul more with that hitch, and um, it's in a lot better condition. Taking a look at the frame here, you know, it's bad. Um, oh, really rusty up in there. So we got a new one of these. This got a hole in it. We got a new cross member there. We got a new spare tire cross member from Hicksville. Um, no, these are really easy to change out. You just got these rivets. Um, you know, the rest of the frame. A little scaly but isn't too bad um, right here usually these rust out um, but these are solid so that's good um, but we're probably gonna cut it right here and uh, replace this plate that goes over the frame because it's bubbling out because there's rust behind it that'll be relatively easy to do um, so yeah we got to do that as well as replace every single cross member and then wire wheel everything. Um, we're getting these powder coated, the leaf spring hangers, because we're going to have those off. Um, that's pretty much everything back here that's getting powder coated. Uh, not going to do the leaf springs because we're going to get new ones and then powder coat those, but that's down the line. Um, and then eventually we're going to get a rear diff cover and get that powder coated as well. All right, so we're going to get this bumper off here. Got all the bolts out. Um, just got to knock out these uh, little tabs here that got the bolts. Hold it in. And that should fall right off. There's one side knocked out fully. And... There's the other side. Um, all right, now we're gonna start taking apart the front end. Um, first things first, we're gonna get the hood off here. Just uh, three bolts on each side, um, 13 millimeter. And then um, your hood uh, springs, I think those are 13 as well. So gonna get those taken off. Hopefully I have somebody here to Help me get this hood off of here. If not, I'll figure it out. Then we're going to take the grill, headlights, bumper off. Then, um, yeah. All right, so I got the hood off, grill, all that shit. Um, but my mic wasn't working and um, there's no sound to the clips. So uh, that really sucks, but, you know, it's pretty easy to pop off the grill. It's all pretty self-explanatory um, in the hood you know we just get two people and it's really easy to do um, but now we're gonna take off the bumper here uh, we got the 15 millimeter bolt down here on the bracket do that on each side and then you got your four um, 15 millimeter bolts down here um, then it just slides right off there so we're gonna do that now
but this is pretty much it that I'm taking apart tonight. Um, we need to get the fenders off here and the whole core support and all that um, and rip apart the front end. Uh, I need to get parts off that I'm gonna get powder coated so then I can get them set off. Get them powder coated, make sure they're done in time. Um, so this truck will be ready for the Fitzgerald meet in October. So what we're gonna be powder coating is this cross brace here on the core support, uh, the hood latch um, brace support, whatever it is called, our HSP intake, um, the oil fill. I think that's pretty much it engine bay wise for now. Um, we're eventually gonna get the HSP um, coolant tube here. So that's why we're not gonna powder coat that. Um, we're gonna get really a whole HSP bundle kit, uh, piping, you know, this, every, everything they got for under the hood. Um, we're gonna get it eventually here soon. Um, we're doing everything in Illusion Cherry. Uh, so down on the front end, um, we're gonna get lower control arms, fire coated the sway bar. When we get kryptonite upper control arms here, um, not right now, but in a little bit, we're gonna get those powder coated as well. And then um, possibly do the PPE forged tie rods, get those powder coated. Um, and we're gonna powder coat these tow hooks as well. What's up guys, it's the next week here and uh, we're gonna continue tearing apart the Duramax. Um, I'm gonna get the whole back half of the frame torn down tonight. Uh, so the axle, fuel tank, shocks, um, get the exhaust out of there. And um, yeah, so we got a lot of work to do. Um, yeah. All right, um, so we're gonna be starting on the fuel tank here. Uh, we gotta get our fuel lines disconnected. Um, and they make uh, these tools to get them off of there. Um, so I'm gonna find the right size and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to take them off. All right, so we got this one off. Um, so you take, uh, this is a half inch one. You take it and you push it in and then what you're doing, I was feeling focus here. You're pushing all those clips around there um, down so then it can slide over this uh, ring right here so you just do that on those two and take off this this is, goes to your uh, fuel filler here and then you got everything disconnected from your tank all right so now um, we're gonna drop the tank you have 15 millimeter bolt here and one here um, you access them with a long extension down from under and up uh, it's kind of a pain. Uh, this is a lot easier on the lift to drop the tank, but you can do it on the ground. Um, it's always nice to have somebody else. Or um, You also want to make sure your tank is pretty much empty, which this is under a quarter full, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we're going to get to that. All right, the tank's now ready to drop. Um, there's some clips that hold the fuel lines in that you gotta pop the fuel lines out of. And then um, just kinda, kinda, gotta finesse it. Um, it's kind of a pain to get all through the frame here. All right, now, now we got it down on the ground. Um, we'd have to jack the truck up just to get that fuel tank out of there. Um, so we're gonna just take the axle out here and then we can just slide that out of the way. Um, so when you're taking out the axle, uh, you don't want any, you don't want to lift it up by the axle. You want to lift your frame here. So. What we're going to do is take the forklift and pick up by this cross member and we'll get all the weight off the axle and then we should be able to unbolt it and then slide the leaf springs and the whole axle wheels and everything out of there. You know, just got to disconnect some brake lines and 
the shocks and all that. First things first, uh, got that exhaust out of the way. Um, we got a five inch exhaust coming for this thing, so we don't need that anymore. Um, but we gotta get the shocks off here, which the bolts are 21 millimeter. Um, really easy to get to uh, without the bed on. With the bed on, it's kind of a pain, but yeah. So we're gonna do that, disconnect brake lines, um, and then do the parking brake cable. And then all we have to do is uh, unbolt the leaf springs and then should just slide right out of there. So, um, yeah. I'd say we needed new shocks. Um, there's nothing to these at all. doesn't even come back up this one is bent I don't know if you guys can see that but that shocks bent this truck rode awful it was like you're flying up and down every bump you hit because there's just no shocks at all all right so we got a chain here in the forklift um, it's gonna pick it up here by the spare tire cross member get it up in there and then I'll bolt the axle and then um, just push it out of the way and then put some jack stands on the frame. So it should work pretty good. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that now. We had to stop for a second, put a block in front of the tire up there. so truck doesn't roll towards us. All right, so um, your front bolts are going to be 24 millimeter. Um, the rears are going to be 21. Uh, sometimes these bolts have some issues coming out of there because they get stuck in the rubber bushing here. Um, so they're kind of a pain, but usually you can get them. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that here now. Uh, get it disconnected. Um, so it actually came out easy. Uh, I think just because that bushing is so worn out, um, forgot to grab my um, punches so we're gonna use the air hammer punch. These bolts are actually in pretty good condition as well. Usually these get pretty rusted from the being in the bushing. So that's a good sign. I mean, everything so far is coming apart beautifully. Well, I spoke too soon. Um, these two front ones are not coming out easy at all. I cannot even get this bolt to spin. Um, so we're gonna get the sledgehammer Try knock these out if that doesn't work. Um, try to get the air hammer as well. And if that doesn't work, um, we're just gonna have to cut this, these bolts on each side and then get new ones. Um, yeah, they're pretty tight in there, so we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, we got the axle all unbolted here. Um, you know. Came out pretty easy on the back. The front's a whole different story, like I said. Um, so we're gonna push this back some, and then get some jack stands set up on here, and then um, lower it down, and then completely pull the axle out of the way because we can't pull it out completely out of the way because the forklift here. So yeah, we're gonna do that now. All 
All right, so we got the jack stand set in place here. Um, you're gonna want some pretty tall ones just to keep it off the ground. Um, you can always put some blocks underneath the jack stands to raise them up higher and whatnot, but uh, these should be good enough. We gotta do this whole same thing on my uh, white truck that I got. So yeah, we're gonna lower this down now and then move the axle out of the way. All right, so as you can see, um, we cut the slits in this one, took the air hammer and just knocked off the top of it. Um, so we're gonna do it to the rest of them here. Uh, and then we'll knock them all out. knocked out here so then take our air hammer again you also use a punch and a hammer um, but I got air hammer so might as well use this we slide out that easy um, pretty easy process so we'll go around whole frame uh, get them off of there and then um, all these leaf spring hangers will be ready for powder coat. All right, we're back. Uh, we got all the leaf spring hangers off. You know, it's pretty easy. Um, they all came off really good. Uh, like one, the one up here is kind of hard to get to um, with the grinder, but um, you're able to get to it enough to cut into it and then use the hammer, air hammer on the rest. Not too rusty behind here at all. Um, and we also got this uh, cross member back here taken off. There's just one rib on each side and then a 15 millimeter bolt. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't too bad besides this hole right here, so. Surprisingly, this cross member is solid still. There's no holes in it, but I hit this with a hammer. It was really thin. Um, this side is way more rusty than the side that was had the gas tank against it. Usually it rusts out right here. Um, oh, we got a hole. But I've seen a lot worse than that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna cut it about here on each side and then weld it in. Um, the kit wants you to cut it up all the way to here, but you don't gotta do that. Um, I just weld it where it's still solid. Well, that's it for this video. Um, the next video will either be taking apart the rest of everything or um, we'll be painting the frame here so we got a lot of work to do on it, um, lots of rust. So we'll get it looking good, um, so stay tuned. See you guys in the next one, bye.